Yep. Okay, we're rolling. Okay, here is how it looks from the front. These are called the horse stands. That is, you want to uh, stands like he's riding a horse. Now, there's the half horse stance where I start out in Tai Chi. <coughs> and there's the full horse stance, which is where I end up. But in Tai Chi, you are always um, shifting and moving your weight around. So, first, take a picture of me from the side when I get into the horse stance. So you can see, here, here, from the side, all the way from the side. Now, you see, you have your push, push forward, with your back straight and your shoulders back, and your legs uh, apart and knees bent. That is basic to every kind of horse stance, whether full or half. So, here's how the exercise starts out. Everything synchronized to breathing. In, out, in, out. And now I am holding up the heavens. around, gathering it down below, and paving the earth. The heaven, she gathering, earth, heaven, two. Four. And five. And now I could do I bear, uh, do a variation and split the chi, the heaven and earth. Weight shifted to my left foot while well, my left foot is my left hand is up. Same thing here. Two, three. Okay, go to the front now. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now the flying clouds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Again, weight shifts to each leg. And then I try from this angle. 
it around and move from the back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Switching the uh, breathing cycle around. One, two. Every time I go back to the uh, horse stance, but I, I I come out of it enough to to do this variation. Three. Done very slowly and purposefully. Four, five, and now I go into the full horse stance, which is the same thing. Push, pushed forward, legs apart, uh, feet uh, straight forward, and I uh, go on to the next thing. Also, synchronizing breathing with movement. exercise and moving to the next one, doing five each one, and then the other, next one. Now I uh, do it in a sequence. So I'm going now, four, again, spreading the chi, synchronizing with the breathing, moving slowly, four, three, Again, I alternate. Five. Breathe in when I'm moving towards my center. Six. Out when I'm moving out. Five. Six. Eight. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, nine, ten. Back always to the horse stance. Nine, ten, nine, ten. I learned this in yeshiva, believe it or not. And then you sidestep out of the horse stance. And now we do the full part of the Come over here. Because I can't afford that. I can't slow down the slide. That's why I do it down here. This is full horse stance. None of that half stuff. Okay, now. 
mark. Here it is. Okay, and get down into it. I call this hand exercise the Huron. It looks like a Huron swimming and looking for fish. And it's possible to synchronize the breathing for this because it's symmetric. the hero. starting from the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, six, seven, eight, 30. You just should try to get down lower than I do, but I'm a kind of old guy, so it's not so easy. One, two, three, four, five. Two hip replacements makes it hard. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15, and then you sidestep out this time to the left, just like I did to the right out of the Tai Chi. And then you get to sidestep properly. There we go. Both my hands, they go up in a protective move, and my knee is also in a defensive uh, move. 
because this is related to martial arts, but it's mostly for exercise. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I uh, hope that this has been instructive. You can't start out doing as many as I do. That took a long time for me to develop. And you don't have to stop just at, uh, at my amount of, uh, of 30 of each of these exercises. You can b build on it and build on it if you can take it. But don't overdo it because then you'll just be sore and bruised and give up. Okay. <laughs>